Hi everyone! This video lesson will be used to show you how to read and revise your partner's short story using Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word has several great features that we tend to overlook because we're usually just rushing to get our work done. For today, we are going to be using the Review tab and using the Comment feature as we revise these short stories. For this exercise, I enlarge the student's font to size 16, but the one you're reviewing should not be any larger than size 12. So just take a moment to check. You should be clicked in the Home tab, and up where the font name is, right to the right of it, is the size. You should just make sure that is size 12 or smaller. Also before we continue, this student's writing is double spaced, but in case it's not, you can highlight it if it's single spaced, and you can either hit control 2, and that will make it double spaced, or you can go up to this little arrow that's pointing up and down for line spacing, and click on the 2.0. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the review tab up top and here you can see the different features Microsoft Word has such as spelling and grammar check, a thesaurus which might come in useful when you get your revisions back, and these comments that we'll be using as we revise this paper. So when I revise the student's paper I tend to read out loud because I pick up on more corrections than I would when I would read silently. So I'll read that one aloud and you can listen and follow along and we'll see what mistakes we can pick up on. Ring. The bell went as I walked into class. I went to put my bag down so I could go to the bathroom. When I got back I saw a new kid and the first thing I noticed was that he had taken my backpack and put it on and was wearing it. The first thing I did was run over to him and take it from him. Later that day, he walked up to me and pushed me, but I just ignored it. So right away when I was reading, I picked up on a little error, and I saw that this student left out some important information in the first line. Ring the bell went as I walked into class. This person forgot some important information. So what I do is I take my mouse and I click and drag <coughs> where the error is and then I'll click new comment and it creates this margin on the right hand side that you can see here with the comment bubble and that's where I'll type in capital letters, capital letters, missing punctuation. I'm not going to tell the student to put a period, exclamation point, question mark. They will have to figure it out when they read the paper. And all you have to do is simply click away from it and the comment stays there. Now if we had made a mistake and there really shouldn't be a comment there, we could click back on it and go up under the comments section and click delete. But for this purpose it's fine and we will leave it as it is. So let's continue with this student's corrections. I went to put my bag down so I could go to the bathroom. It looks like there's a word missing here, so we'll once again highlight the space that needs a comment, and we'll add a comment, again in capital letters, missing word. Now again, you have to click away. If I were to hit enter or return, it would just create a larger comment bubble, and we don't need to do that, so we'll just click away and let the comment stick there. When I got back, I saw a new kid, and the first thing I noticed was that he had taken my backpack and put it on and was wearing it. The first thing I did was run over to him and take it from him. So I can see right away that this student made a spelling error. So I would just simply type in spelling in the comment box and move on. And then later that day, he walked up to me and pushed me, but I just ignored it. And again, here's another spelling error that this student probably should have picked up on because of the red zigzag line underneath it, but he or she may have been rushing to get through with it. So we will tell them that they made a spelling error. And then we'll click away from there. So this is how you add a comment in. We have just a few in the first paragraph. and 
I'm not going to continue to do the entire document because it does get a little repetitive. But you can type in any comments. If you think that this student should be more detailed, you can highlight an area that you think is, miss is lacking detail, click new comment, and then tell them, add more detail. And that's what this feature is really for. We want to get the student to understand what he or she needs to do to correct the writing and make it as interesting as possible. So, as I said, I was only going to do this first paragraph to give you an idea. Um, so that is it. You're going to revise your partner's entire short story using this comment feature and type in any suggestions that you might have in the side here in your comment boxes and then don't forget to when you finish go to file save as a word 97 to 2003 document and send it send it um, back to your partner so that he or she can revise it before they turn it in. So that's all for this lesson. Um, good luck with it and if you have any questions just let me know. Thanks. Bye.